In this morning's Health Watch, the mystery of chronic fatigue syndrome. It affects up to 4 million Americans and can be debilitating. Some people think it's more psychological than physical, but new research finds biological evidence for CFS. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here now with the latest on this new study. Before we get to the results, though, and good morning to you. Good morning, let's, Chris. Uh, let's talk about exactly what it is for people who are a little... Hazy on this. Well, Chris, when, when as doctors we're taught about the disease, any disease, we're taught that a sign of a disease is something that we can see or anyone else can see, and a symptom is something that only the patient can feel. Chronic fatigue syndrome, unfortunately, is a very vague and complex disorder that really doesn't have any signs, but it does have symptoms and they can be debilitating, and they really can range from everything from muscle aches and pains to memory problems or psychological or psychiatric issues, severe headaches, sleep issues or insomnia, or even tender or painful lymph nodes, and the list can go on and on, and this is not something that a little nap is gonna take care of. Only about 5% of patients with this disorder get any resolution of their symptoms. So now let's talk about the research and what exactly, what causes this and what can, uh, what can people do to get rid of it? Well, what's really exciting, this research was done in New Jersey, and they studied the spinal fluid of patients with chronic fatigue syndrome and also normal patients and they found over 700 specific proteins or biomarkers potentially in the spinal fluid of patients with chronic fatigue syndrome which is so important because really for the first time it opens up the door for not only accurate diagnosis because right now there is no one diagnostic test for CFS but also once you can find the protein or biomarker that's almost like a fingerprint for us in medicine and science and then you can target specific treatments. Yeah, it do we have any idea what those specific treatments are? No, and you know what, that's one of the most frustrating things about this, Chris, is right now patients with chronic fatigue syndrome, their treatments are really band-aids on those specific symptoms. They could be anything from medication to treat their pain or the resultant depression that they get, diet therapy, physical therapy, but hopefully in the future we'll be seeing more breakthroughs. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you again. Back, Good Chris. to see you this morning.